Pfizer, the Novavax jab could be manufactured in Melbourne. Yeah, Danica, Novavax will be made available further down the track pending the results of more clinical trials, but it has been touted by the nation's chief medical officer as the potential long-term vaccination option across the world. Australia is prepared for that possibility. We've ordered 51 million doses of Novavax and there are reports today it could be made on home soil through Melbourne manufacturer CSL, which is also producing the AstraZeneca jab. There's been a lot of debate around the effectiveness of that particular vaccine candidate, but health experts insist it is safe and it will save lives. The Treasurer says there's no plans to pivot away from AstraZeneca. No, what we have done is adopted a portfolio approach based on the best medical advice available to us. So that's access to the Pfizer vaccine, the AstraZeneca vaccine and other vaccines as they are proved effective and go through their phase three clinical trials. That has been the best medical advice available to us. And Eliza, the Treasurer says COVID stimulus measures have delivered a $200 billion boost to the savings of Australians. Yeah, this is off the back of data showing that household saving deposits rose by 11% or almost $113 billion from January to the end of November last year. For business deposits, there was a 17.6% jump or almost $104 billion. And the Treasurer says that uh, is using this information, this data, to show that government stimulus spending has propped up the bank accounts of Australians and using it to uh, argue against the need to... Uh, extend JobKeeper beyond March. He says that a pool of $200 billion is such a large sum of money that can be spent across the economy to generate the economic recovery. The money is there to help fuel the economic recovery and to avoid a fiscal cliff uh, when some of the temporary emergency economic supports taper off. Labor argues that higher savings don't guarantee jobs or a strong recovery. The shadow treasurer, Jim Chalmers, says Joshua Frydenberg shouldn't be patting himself on their back when there are still 2 million people either out of work or working fewer hours than they'd like.